Hello friends, this is Rupesh and watching CVP Nuts video series on C++ and this video is about virtual functions in C++. So this is going to be the introduction video. We will have 3-4 more videos like what is virtual destructor, what is the way compiler actually achieves the dynamic polymorphism, like literally compiler changes the code, like when you write this as virtual here, I'll tell you everything about this one. But when we create virtual functions, compiler changes the code. So I will cover everything about the virtual functions in different different videos and this video is about why to use virtual functions and how to use them and few additional notes so let's start so the first point is why you should use virtual function there is only one reason why you will use virtual function is to achieve dynamic polymorphism if you don't know what is dynamic polymorphism we will learn that here with this program but bear with me till that so why to use virtual function to achieve dynamic polymorphism which is the ability to call derived class function using base class either pointer or reference so i'll repeat this again virtual function is used to achieve dynamic polymorphism and dynamic polymorphism is nothing but calling derived class function using base class pointer or reference so let's see that with this example you have this base class and we have derived i mean inherited this base class into derived class and both classes have same function fun and fun okay so if i will do something like this we have base pointer b is equal to new derived and if i'll just simply call b this function fun what do you expect this function to return i mean print is it going to print am i base function or I, I mean I am base function or I am derived function now here's the point this B is of type base but it contains derived meaning it is pointing to derived object even if it is of base type so sometime what happens you want to call this one and sometime you want to call this one with the same piece of code you know so when you want to call this one you don't have to do anything you don't need virtual function it will call without virtual function but when you have to call this one with this line or these two lines then you have to have virtual function here meaning you have to write virtual keyword here you have to make this function virtual that's it that's the only job you have to do so let's see the practical and we'll understand a little better so as i told you we can have base pointer b is equal to new derived and base is actually calling this function what do you think should be called here so i'll compile the code and try to execute this see it is saying i am base fun so this piece of code is actually printing i am base fun okay that's cool we we can understand that okay we are not using any virtual function here so it will not call the children i mean the derived one it will always call the base one this one so now let's apply the virtual keyword here and we'll see the magic let me compile this and execute see it is saying i am derived fun so this piece of code is exactly same but what you achieved is calling this one so it's very simple and the same can be achieved with the reference so only reference and pointer can be used with the virtual function don't forget that this is very important point okay you cannot use virtual function without pointer and references so i will create derived d and we'll assign this d here and we can call this b with this one so let me compile this and execute this see it is still giving i am derived function and if i'll remove this virtual from here and we can save compile and execute see it will still say that i am base function so the whole idea is now you can understand that right like this b here is a container it is not the whole object it's just saying that i'm base type but i contain d which is of derived type so now you can see the use here is very clear if you want to call derived class function from base class pointer or reference you have to use virtual function and so many people when i say this line people just get confused like okay so let's suppose if i have some another function like fun one then then what uh 
if I'll print something here like this is fun one that's it and is it going to print this one no it is not because see if I will try to do b dot fun no there is no fun one we have only fun because b knows only this function b doesn't know anything about this one this is inside derived so no matter what object this b is containing you cannot call that function which doesn't belong to b i mean base because base doesn't have any information about that and this is compile time checking so you have to have this fun one in base also so then you won't have any problem so fun one and that's it and then this problem will go see it's gone so there are few rules we will see all these theory here and I must tell you if you're a C++ developer this feature is a killer feature for you we'll see this in more detail in coming videos and I'll explain you how compiler will actually change the code in order to achieve this like you remember right I mean same piece of code this will sometime call this one and sometime call this one correct we are not changing the calling here we are just changing the function declaration and it is changing which one to call meaning it is speaking at runtime that is dynamic polymorphism dynamic meaning it is not static it's not at compile time it is at runtime it takes the decision at runtime which one to call and this piece of code here will change and how it changes, I'll show you that in coming videos so for now let's go for this theory and we'll understand this better so we have seen this line so far let's go for how to use virtual function by declaring function as a virtual in a base class and overriding that function in a derived class so this overriding is very important word here because you have to have both function signature exactly same then only you can achieve this virtual functions behavior otherwise I show you that right like function one was not accessible here and even if it, it is accessible if your function signature is not similar it won't do so I have mentioned here like function signature should be same in the base and derived classes and second point is declaring a function as virtual in base class is enough derived class function need not to be declared virtual what I mean is we have this function and I'm just writing virtual here right like this I can write virtual here also but this is not needed okay you just have to declare this function virtual meaning the top hierarchy would have function declared as virtual and then in consecutive hierarchies like uh, we have base and then we have d1 and then d1 is initial i mean inherited into d2 and then d3 and then d4 then here also if you have that fun function you don't have to mention that virtual keyword for this one you just have to mention here meaning here and this function would be treated as virtual here here and here and here everywhere you don't have to do that virtual thing everywhere clear right so let's look at another point virtual function should be accessed using pointer or reference of base class type to achieve the runtime polymorphism we understood this very well and the additional notes are virtual function cannot be static okay this is a very important point you cannot have static keyword here when you have virtual keyword okay and a friend function of another class so there are some restrictions with the virtual functions another point is a class can have virtual destructor but can't have virtual constructor so you know that you cannot create a virtual constructor it is really very famous thing in C++ you cannot have virtual constructor but you can have virtual destructor and I will show you how to create virtual destructor and what is the biggest use of that and the third point is so there are two types virtual function which I explained you here so this is virtual function type another one is pure virtual function I'll show you what is pure here pure meaning let's create another virtual function here virtual void fun one is equal to zero so this function is now a pure virtual function example pure meaning it doesn't have the body you have to use this syntax in order to tell that I'm creating this function as a pure virtual function so when you have pure virtual function you don't give the body and when you don't give the body for some class like base class you are not giving the body of this function then this base class becomes abstract class now you cannot instantiate the object of base class so if you don't have this and if you write this 
let me quickly show you that like base b if you want to do this you can clearly do this i will say b1 so you can do this forget about this one you can do this if i'll uncomment this one it will tell you that you cannot have it because it is abstract class see it is saying that object of abstract class type base is not allowed meaning we have created this class as virtual i mean abstract abstract meaning your class is not fully constructible because there is some missing information in that and let's suppose you inherited this abstract class into this one and you didn't give this function body here then this class derived class will also automatically become an abstract class let me uncomment this particular piece of code and this will also tell you the same thing like see object of abstract type derived meaning both the classes are not instantiable now you cannot create the object of these two classes they are abstract classes now how to get rid of this you just have to give the body like void fun one and that's it see that error is gone here now you can instantiate derived class but still base class cannot be instantiated because we have pure virtual function inside that so now you might be wondering that why we create some function as pure virtual function what happens like sometimes you don't have the actual definition of that functionality meaning uh, let's create this like animal and we have animal here and we have like let's make this cat and i'll just simply copy paste and this is going to be maybe a cow okay so this is cat this is cow and let's make this function as eat and this is going to be eat eat and let's remove this one and this one and let's make this one removed and we don't have the body for this one because i'll tell you why see i can create this eat is equal to zero here okay and if it is cat i would say eating non-veg and when it is cow i can say eating veg so it depends on the derived class what the definition of that particular functionality would be it's not the parent who will tell what that functionality would be but parent would obviously tell that if it is animal they definitely eat but i don't know what they will eat because animal can be cat and dog and n number of animals so they have their own taste and eating habits what they eat it depends on them but i know for sure that they all will eat so i will give you the functionality but i cannot give the body so we'll remove this and this one will remove everything and we can have the similar code like animal pointer a is equal to new we have cow here and a eat and we'll save this let's run this and execute eating wedge see because it is cow and if we will have a cat here instead of cow it will eat okay i didn't save <laughs> i was confused like what happened okay see eating non veg so now you must be able to understand why we use virtual function and what is the essence of using pure virtual function pure virtual function just tells to the world that actually i don't have the definition for this particular functional or functionality but i do know that if this is the class this functionality should exist if you are not giving the body of this functionality in your derived classes like cat and cow you cannot create those classes so this is the beauty like if i'm not giving this eat function inside this cat let's say or instead of commenting i can just say eat one and if i'll save this see it will tell that you cannot create this class because you have not given the body for this eat function so if you want to become animal meaning you are inheriting this animal inside this cat meaning you are saying that cat is an animal and if you want to become an animal you have to give this body if you're not giving the body you cannot become animal so this is the restriction you impose to the derived classes by creating pure virtual functions so i think we have learned pure virtual function and virtual function don't worry i'll create a separate video for virtual function i just explain little bit about virtual function i'll have a better example in next video maybe but i know you might have understood this 
pretty well. So thanks for watching guys. Consider liking and subscribing this channel so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos. Bye bye.